Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, everybody. Hello, Didier, Quentin, and India Lefort. Thank you for being here today. You are architects and interior designers. Didier, you are the founder of the office, DL2A. Your children, Quentin and India, are working with you today. In few sentences, could you describe your office? And after, you will talk to us about two projects. First, the Sunday Praia on the island Sao Tome et Principe. Then, a big project in Morocco. Okay, I am, uh, yes, indeed the founder of DL2A, which is now uh, about uh, 40 years uh, old. I have the chance to get my uh, two children with me, There's Quentin, my son, and India, my daughter. And uh, we are uh, interior designer and architectural uh, practice. And all the company is split into two, two things, like architecture and interior design. Uh, and everybody is working, interior designer work with architecture as well architect work with interior design. So our project are um, in the whole world, I would say in 21 countries, in five continents. And uh, of course, uh, since I am working now, uh, since more than 40, 45 years, Uh, we did a numerous project. We, did, we realized more than 300 projects, and uh, with all kind of um, what I mean of kind of uh, type of, of building. Our main core, of course, is in uh, hospitality. Uh, 60% of our work now is uh, in hotel business with uh, the most uh, the most well known. Uh, Uh, company of the world um, and also some private. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the Sunday Praia. Yes, uh, among uh, all the projects that we did, one of the projects in hospitality uh, that we like particularly because it's not by its size, it's mainly by, by its, um, its content and uh, the philosophy of it. We have asked by um, a South African uh, client to work on the project of sustainability into an, an island, which is Principe Island in the Guinea Gulf in West Africa. This island is nearly virgin. There is a tropical forest with beautiful uh, small island. There are only 7,000 people living there with uh, very little infrastructure, nearly just a little hospital, few schools. And uh, my client, due to my experience with the Aga Khan um, Foundation, asked me to, to work with him to treat about all matters of sustainability into the, into the island. So this goes from the the rehabilitation of the forest, the agriculture, the infrastructure, the preservation of turtle, and uh, we also work on the purification of the water. And uh, the final thing, which is directly with us, but also it's, uh, it's about tourism, because uh, we know that in this kind of island, the main thing is to develop tourism, to give jobs to the people. So we had the chance to first start by rehabilitate an old, an old uh, I would say, guest house, which is about for 40 rooms on a beautiful beach. And we start by this. Then we rehabilitate uh, an old uh, farm, which was um, a Portuguese farm because this island was uh, in the past a colony, a Portuguese colony which was working on uh, cacao. 
And uh, this farm was totally abandoned in 40 years with trees uh, growing into the building uh, in very bad condition. And we rehabilitated part of, of the farm to make a, a, a hotel, that means a, a guest house. And then on the on a beautiful beach, which is uh, down that, uh, that guest house, we had a project, a new project of Sundi Praia. Sundi Praia is, uh, in fact, a hotel which is, um, uh, the subject was to, to protect as much as possible the site and to rehabilitate it. So we decided to build, uh, it's a 25 keys only hotel. Uh, well, it's a luxury hotel, five star deluxe. Each room is minimum 75 square meters, which is quite a large thing. But we, we decided to, to build that hotel with uh, intent. This means uh, something where, which could be easily removed. And in terms of, so of foundations, uh, we decided to use a new system which was developed by German, which is to have screws. Uh, that you screw into the land directly and you create a platform and on that platform, which is in timber, you built your tent. And uh, then we, we did also a, a restaurant in bamboo. So it's 100% bamboo. And uh, due to that, uh, that project has, has been recognized by, uh, by UNESCO through uh, a famous award, which is called the Versailles Awards. And we have got the world, the world uh, awards on this project. Of course, uh, this project has got a lot of success immediately. Unfortunately, due to COVID, everything has been stopped. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about the, um, your project in Morocco? Yes, we have different, uh, as you can see uh, through our experience, we have uh, totally different projects. Uh, we are working quite a lot in Morocco, and we did already uh, several uh, projects. But nowadays, we have uh, two projects, two major projects under construction. One is an uh, office tower in Casablanca, which is, uh, has uh, got already the, the green, uh, the green um, um, label, because uh, it's difficult now to have a tower which has got this. And we do also a, a big avenue in Marrakech, which is 500 uh, meters long, uh, 160,000 square meters. And in this, it is a private avenue, which is open to public. That means it's on a private land, but uh, it will link two main avenues in Marrakech, and it will be uh, open to, to traffic even. But we decided, of course, we had not to to work within the, the constraint of urban rules uh, for normal avenue, to have a pavement, to have uh, all the, you know, the, the big luminaire and so. We, so we decided to create an avenue which is a garden. So it's a garden avenue in which there is a big program because we have, uh, we have more than 180 apartments. Uh, we have a hotel run by the famous uh, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a cultural center which is going to display all Morocco uh, through um, digital uh, digital um, uh, play. We have um, more than 120 shops. We have a, a little university. So it's a very big project and which is going to be completed in a few months. But it's a nine years project, so it's quite a long thing. But we think it's going to be one of the major avenues, maybe the most well-known avenue in Marrakech. Wow. Soon. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know a lot of culture with your experience. Could you tell yes. us something else about? Uh, this is one of the fantastic things of our profession, that uh, when you have uh, the chance to have a project abroad, you, you are, of course, in contact with different cultures. And it was a time where I was, uh, I was going around the world uh, four times a year, starting always from west, going through Los Angeles, Tahiti, after 
uh, Sydney, uh, Singapore, uh, Kuala Lumpur, India, Pakistan, and then reaching France about after five weeks. So it was a lot of culture different, a lot of uh, different climates. It was incredible because when I was doing my luggage, it was difficult to know what I should bring because <laughs> when you are in Tahiti on one side and in Himalaya 3,000 meters high on the other side, it's not the same climate. So, <laughs> <laughs> And about your inspiration? it's um... Our inspiration is always linked to some analysis. So we don't start a project without doing a complete analysis of the location, of the climate, of all the, what I was saying before, it's about all the construction factors, the materials, uh, all the, um, the geography. We have all these factors, which is the beginning of our study. And then, of course, there is uh, the subject by itself. And then we try to be, this is a, a, what I mean, the very methodology side of, of our things. But after we start to, to think about art. <laughs> <laughs> And then we, we mixed the two because a, a project could not be only artistic. It should also be run, should be efficient. And your client should be happy with it because uh, it should work totally <laughs> and, be, and be pretty as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you work in family. A last word about that? One more word on this subject is that when I, when I did the company, I was alone. And uh, this is the old way of doing a company. Now the new way to be in team. So, due to my uh, children uh, in Quentin in India, this enlarged the team. But now also in the company, we have other partners who are very good, who are nearly part of the family. And the, the, the team is also expanding. And I think, I hope, it's my wish that when, when I will not be there anymore, or enfin, maybe still there, uh, they will run the company more at the group size, With, uh, with other partners, or other collaborators. And it will be family, but enlarged to something, to a larger group. And not anymore on one person, which is a bit heavy for, because uh, it's not, it was okay at that time. But mm -hmm. now I think uh, we have to think about the future. And the future, if you want to resist all to the pressure of all the constraint and everything, it's very important that a company has a certain size a certain strength and doesn't rely only on one person but on several person and quantum in india will be part of it and maybe the main core of it but other collaborators also will be part of it okay thank you very much and uh, good luck for uh, the future on uh, your uh, new project. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Charlotte. Bye bye, bye everybody. Bye. And see you next Wednesday for our new Comdarchi in English. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself. <laughs>